How are we doing today, guys? I wanted to create a little video today showing the steps uh, to create this bed cage that I just got finished with um, for my buddy Joseph's Toyota pickup. Uh, it's a pretty simple project, and uh, I just wanted to, like I said, create a video showing you sort of step by step how to pull your measurements in, you know, sort of three dimensional space and input that data that you collect into Bentec. Uh, just makes it really, really easy to do. Um, so anyways, I, I thought instead of climbing into the back of the truck and videoing myself, uh, you know, on my hands and knees, that this might be a better way of doing it, just a tutorial via pictures, essentially. So this is what, this is the simple, um, you know, bed cage that we came up with. Uh, and, and so I'm going to just go through pictures and, and show you uh, sort of step by step what we did to create this project. So here we go. First thing, here's, so let, I guess I got to step back. So um, the, the previous picture here is, is without his canopy on. Uh, sort of the stipulation was is he wanted a bed cage that followed his cab real well but also fit underneath his canopy for when he chooses to run it. So so this picture sort of shows just a rear view uh, of, of the Toyota. Um, I should have taken a, a better picture of, of the rig um, from this view without the tire in the way and the chainsaw and stuff, but th this will do. Um, so this is the view that I think will work best for us to illustrate the points that we're trying to gather here. So first thing that I'd like to do here is just to illustrate, you know, pretend that this is um, tube center line uh, and these are the apex of the bend. So I'm, I'm showing it as straight lines here because I think it illustrates a lot better um, finding the, the apex of the bend. Now, obviously, you know, in real life, you're going to have a bend that starts down in here and it goes up and, you know, and it, it connects back into this uh, horizontal tube here. But again, for, for, for the purposes of what we're trying to illustrate here, we're trying to find in three-dimensional space a point right here, 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 and here. Just four, four points essentially um, for this project. Um, so, real quickly, I wanted to illustrate too, is his truck bed actually, you know, there's, from this point here, if you drew a line straight to the floor, there's a gap between here and here. Um, f for our purposes, we wanted this to be straight. Um, this is a straight vertical tube here. Um, we could have kicked it in to absolutely maximize floor space, but but we we didn't choose to do that. So our our uh, tube just goes straight to the floor from from this bedside point. So I just wanted to illustrate that for you. Is is uh, you know there is a gap here between you know this tube center line and you know the actual edge of the bed uh, because there's a little kick out here at the top of the bed rail. So. Anyways, so the first thing you want to do is figure out the overall height of your tube. Now remember, from here we're going to go from the floor, and this measurement right here, because a Bentec uses a tube center line in the assembly environment, we need to account for that. So, so we want we wanted this to be 33 inches to tube center line, which overall makes it 33 and 7 eighths of an inch because we're using inch and three quarter DOM for this project. And so you basically have to, you know, add uh, half of tube width to your whatever dimension, dimension this is. So so in the software, I'm going to input 33 inches, but but really to the top of the tube, it's it's nearly 34 inches. We're at 33 and seven eighths. So um, so we got that measurement, 
and then and then I also know that from the floor to the apex of our bend here at the bed rail I want it to be 16 inches so we have our vertical dimensions that we need now so the next thing that we want to do is like I said we're we're not going to account for this we're just going to go and measure a tight measurement between this bed rail and that bed rail and in our in our example it, it was 56 inches tight so we have to do a little math here because um, remember we're using tube center line for for everything and so to illustrate to illustrate this excuse me I wanted to sort of show you here so um, if we used 56 inches was our tight measurement and then we subtracted half tube width over here and half tube width over here that would ultimately put us to where the edges of our tubing would be touching the bed rails and we obviously don't want that because it'll rattle and make noise and, and whatever else and so we in addition to subtracting half tube width on both sides we also want to subtract a, a, a quarter inch on both sides that's going to represent a gap between the bed rail and the edge of the tubing and so um, so basically the equation is is you know 56 inches minus half tube width times 2 minus your desired gap it can be whatever you want in our case it's a quarter inch times 2 um, so and then I wrote it out here long form for you same same basic ideas we're using inch and three quarter tubing half tube width is seven eighths of an inch so it's seven inches and seven eighths of an inch on this side seven eighths of an inch on that side you subtract and then quarter inch quarter inch and we ultimately get a measurement of 53 and three quarters of an inch tube center line um, so now we've got our width down here at the bed floor call it at the bed floor or the, or the bed rails um, so the only other measurement we need is up here at the roof so in our case 42 inches we wanted this to be 42 inches uh, to the apex of the bend um, at the roof so that's basically it we've got all of our data now the next thing to do would be to go to Bentech and um, input this data into the software and build our main hoop so the next video will illustrate that thanks guys